Kick City City. So, so I got two members of the Stroke Squad here, hey. Blaze mm. and Paul. So, y- tell me how the Stroke Squad started. Let the citizens of Kick City oh, know how man. the Stroke Squad started. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead, Paul. I'm gonna go summer of 2008. Damn. Okay. Okay. And uh, and at this time, um, oh man, what social media was it with that was huge? Facebook. It wasn't my, it wasn't MySpace. MySpace. No, 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 no. It was, it was like it was like early Black Planet. Twitter, Instagram ish. Damn, we not that old, nigga. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we Black, not old. Black I Planet. Have, we I not Black old. Planet. Hold on, we, 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 <laughs> hold on, no. I, think, I yo, I have a Black Planet. Not gonna lie, but I'm saying <laughs> when this had happened, what it what had happened was um. When was when was Soldier Boy's like breakout year? What year was that? Like oh seven. That's oh seven. Yeah, so it was like summer oh seven. Summer oh mm-hmm. yes, I would I'd say summer oh seven. Um, Soldier Boy's huge, and um, everybody's wearing gigantic fucking t shirts and doing what are basically line dances. <laughs> yes. Um. So. In that time, somewhere on one of those social medias, I can't remember specifically at this moment which one it was, but um, emerged a uh, a group of women that called themselves the Twerk Team. Oh yes, mm, I remember them. One is uh, an uh, R.I.P. to Betty Butt. She died. Oh, it was, it was one of the darkest things. <laughs> Oh no! I stopped. Not the not the place laughed at that. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, I, I stuck in that. for the long run. I was uh, yo, yeah, fam. It's like the Golden Girls, like R.I.P. Betty, like oh yeah. shit, R.I.P. the big blood, big butt black woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what? Oh, go ahead, Paul. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yeah, R.I.P. to Enhanced R.I.P. Exactly, right. Yeah. But no, so, so, um, they had a, (laughs) um, so there was Twerk Team, and they they were posting their videos, and we we, we were enthusiasts. Uh, Yes. And then, great uh, work. Great, great, respect, great work. So, so, so Twerk Team was a thing, and then, um, just I don't know alliteration. I was like, man, if there's a pork team, and we were sorry, but hoes at the time. Uh, yo, let's let's be stroke squad. Mm-hmm. And that was that. The dawn of the stroke squad. Yeah, and it, it, and it comes from twerk team. That, that it, yeah, we we would be nowhere without black women. <laughs> Absolutely, amen to that. Amen to that. Kick City 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 City. What's good, everybody? What's going on? Um, all the citizens out there. Um, we are coming at you with another episode of Kick City, the podcast, uh, viewing and also listening, um, to be the pleasure. This is episode 72. 72 of um kick city podcast and so um guest season is still in effect and so um me marco and um our guest is the infamous the notorious uh he's he, he's a he's a renaissance man i say the least just with everything that he's doing and so shout out shout out to him he is he is a rapper um he is one half of face face he um, does radio. He's an announcer and a producer for KCUR. Um, de- definitely with that NPR to be exact. He is a comedian, um, and most importantly, he is my motherfucking friend. And so, um, our guest tonight is um, the famous, the infamous Paul Nakatura. Paul, hey. what's good with you, bro? Hey man, 
how you gonna steal my line? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good though. Um, no, it's it's wonderful to be here, and I can honestly, genuinely blame you for um, my obsession with kids. Yeah, I really Thank can. I, I I really can. I can. It, it, you you. Oh man, in uh, college it was annoying. I was like, really, you more Jordans? Like, bro, like I have on Fila's <laughs> that I'm hooping yeah. in. Yes, <laughs> that have been wearing the class. Careful, definitely careful, definitely careful with that. And so, yep, we got Paul, we got Paul on here. And so this is, this should be a very nice, long, lengthy um, episode. And so I'm very excited about that, but uh, let's get to, let's get the boss, man. Boss, man, how's your week? How's, how's your week? How's everything been going for you? Uh, week has been a, a weird one. I, I, I've tested positive for COVID on Monday. Um, oh, sure. So I am uh, recovering from that. So trying to get get through all of that and everything um how you feel move I'm, I'm feeling good now man no symptoms at all so i'm i'm feeling good um moved the podcast from our existing host over to a new host so we are no longer with anchor we are now with spreaker so this is our mm-hmm. first official episode over at spreaker so if you guys hear some commercials that's why we are now monetized so Shout out to us for that. Um, but yeah, so you know, outside of the Rona, it's it's been a good week. Absolutely, absolutely. And so um, we'll just keep it, we'll just keep it moving on, moving on forward. Um, Paul, just let let you know how we get down. We do um a fresh kick Friday. And so the um upcoming like sneaker that we're gonna wear this Friday, um, we're gonna get involved with that and just tell the viewers or the listeners or the citizens w- what we're doing and so um i will start with mark uh mark um what you plan on putting on this friday um since i know that uh paul is always rocking something with purple i, I took a little inspiration from him and pulled out the uh court purple jordan 13s aka the laker 13s Ooh. um these are from a few years ago so uh not a whole lot of burn on these. These are basically cherry 13s, but instead of red, you got the purple. <clears throat> so uh, very comfortable sneaker, of course. I like 13s, uh, so I think I have more 13s than the average um, person. But I'm going to go ahead and interject here and oh. say that you unlocked one of my daily doubles. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, because I'm doing two... Um, I'm doing two more baggings. Oh shit, my mic. I hope that sounded great. <laughs> um, now nah, just on my right. Paul is gonna be doing a lot of this. Um for just the, the listeners, he's gonna be go, going back and forth with a special segment that he's gonna do. And so he's yeah, popping he's popping one of his out. Devil. Um absolutely because um I recently caught the court purple 13. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um yep. But, I got those as well. But um, what I did also do was um, I went to the K for um, Kate State Night at the K. And this year, this merch jersey is nasty. Oh, my God. And so I just pulled that out of the plastic. It's been in the plastic since the game um, this past was it a week ago? Yeah. Um, got the Royals on the sleeve. I got the K State on the sleeve, the Power Cat, and then the Royals on the other sleeve. And then mm-hmm. Blaze is gonna like this. Yeah, absolutely. It's dope with the twenty two. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love it. Yeah, just just so with all the listeners out there, Paul is um pulling out a jersey from the K. Um, it's purple. E Maw twenty two little K State action for you. Nice little baseball jersey. That he got oh, from the K, and so yeah, yeah absolutely. Because yeah. uh, uh, you know, fly. The, the listeners know that <clears throat> you're 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 all K State up, right? You see them all around here, right? <laughs> oh, oh, in the back of the jersey says Ema for the name, uh, and uh, twenty two is the number because it's twenty two this year. But it's also tight because we have a crazy good running back in Deuce Vaughn, and his number is twenty two. So everybody, yeah. absolutely, absolutely, it's, the best, too fresh. Absolutely, the best running back in the nation. And so, um, thank you. 
and have the best running back in the nation. I'll just go in and do that. So um, I'll pull out my fresh kick Friday. I thought about these off and on and keeping these or not, but I am rolling with these. Um, Jordan Retro won the Bleach Coral. Um, and so I'm I'm going to keep these highs. I like them. Um, I'm on the verge of getting the lows, the white, black, and pinks. And so these will be my fresh kick Fridays that I'll put on just a Jordan one kick, um, plain, plain and simple. Um, I, I wish, I wish I could wear these to the award shows, but, uh, I digress with that. And, uh, so it just keep it moving with that. So, um, um, just Paul, anything on the top of your head that you'll be, um, rocking when it comes to sneakers this Friday? Just uh, off the top, put you on the spot. Than, other than that court purple, because he he unlocked my daily double, one of my daily okay. doubles. I got I got another daily double because I'm gonna unpack another jersey. Okay. Uh, my lady. I got you. So, but, awesome. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time to uh to plug the band. Um, mm -hmm. if you see the if you can see the fit, if you can't see the fit, if you're listening, um, I just and I'm not I'm not gonna be humble about this because I don't care. Um. I just I just recently designed the best merch for a band ever. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 not even I'm not I'm not I'm not bullshit. So this what it is is um like jerseys, like actual jerseys. If you if you're if you're not if you're not watching, it's um this jersey is pink and then it has uh white letters with uh with a uh, blue around them and they're actual like really nice jerseys full stitched stuff and the number on the front is 913 the the name is my band's name so it's great and then on the back is you get your own number and name all stitched into the jersey mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is to create some exclusivity we're not we're once someone's number gets ordered no one else gets that number, and we're only doing zero to ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Um, I've already sold quite a few of them <laughs> just on that premise, and uh, and and they're showing up. I got a couple. There's my guy Ben Trans who was here. Um, your number <laughs> got taken already. <laughs> right. right. Robotic. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but we're also doing shorts. Um. Little face face shorts, yep, yeah, absolutely. Black. They got a really great wristband and they got pockets. Um, mm -hmm. and then the thing about the shorts is that they cost about the same amount to make as the jerseys, but because women are flocking to the shorts, I'm gonna charge less for the shorts and we're gonna and the band is gonna take less home for them. So that's mm -hmm. the thing. But uh, for the Fresh Kick Friday though is uh the sneaker that I got to go with this shit is this Patrick Ewing. <laughs> this, Lovely. Uh uh oh these are called the Rogues. These are mm -hmm. the Rogues and uh they are the Yo MTV rap ones and they're a white base with they got pink highlights, blue highlights, green, light blue. It's 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 nuts. And like the thing about my band is we consider ourselves a uh, 90s nerdcore. So everything that I'm presenting now is just like just nostalgic as hell for anybody that grew up in the night. Absolutely. That is dope. Um <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna make something different with the um pickups. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go Mark first. We're gonna do um pickups that we recently got. Um and then we'll do we'll, we'll do something di different with Paul. And so uh Marco, did you pick up anything recently? No, no, nothing for me this week. Good, uh, good, good. Well, not not good. Just I want to make sure you get enough <laughs> for him. And so, um, I didn't pick up anything this week either. And so, um, with with that, we'll just skip over with that. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna let Paul um before we get into the interview of asking him questions. Um, Paul, tell us about your sneakers. Tell about everything that you picked up, whether it's clothes or anything like that. Um, that any collection because I know you got a story for everything. And so, we'll just jump into that. Uh, first off, I like to say that, uh, because, uh, I live like a frugal lifestyle for the most part, like I ride the bus, I don't own a car, uh, so I have a little extra money now to like buy sneakers more, but, um, before that, um, I employed a, a mantra for sneaker buying that was no white souls. 
Mm-hmm. No, no white, no white uh, souls or mid souls. This way, I was able to um, really like buy a lot less sneakers, <laughs> like 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 buy a lot less sneakers, and um, and also um, when you start to do that, um, like if you go in a shoe store, you'll eliminate so many sneakers from the wall, and then you'll get a lot more on. Um, unique sneakers mm-hmm. yeah so that that's that's um but i as will be i have some white souls in here because i'm like you see me looking around i'm looking at like, the room floor of all the things <laughs> but uh okay so friends we're talking into it um uh, <clears throat> no white souls classic de la soul low dunks mm-hmm. absolutely yeah no no white souls that was the moment I saw him. It's like no, absolutely, like, and and the thing that that got me was that everybody else really really was into the highs, and mm-hmm. and the highs are mostly white, and they but they still had the De La Soul print on on the heel. But I, but yeah, it was it was a no brainer, and that was what five years ago. Mm-hmm. Year? Yeah, no I don't. That's that's yeah. a lot. What I'm gonna uh. Just on pickups, uh, these are DS right now. Do it. Am I getting in front of stuff? Am I am I getting in front of questions? No, no, no. You good? No, no. You good? You can do this. I'm gonna do these pickups. Um, we're gonna do this this um different segment just for you. So go ahead and um, want to get with the pickups and uh, the, uh tell the tell the story about the them. Only um, the only Asics I've ever purchased in my life. Uh, again, uh, no one saw. Mm-hmm. I like those. Yeah. Both. Yeah, these are. I re- I really enjoy these. Do Do they have a name for those Asics or? These are our gel light. Um, what are they? Let me get the box. <laughs> nice, nah, good. Box right here. Sorry. A gel light three. Oh, gee, goodness. Mm-hmm. And one of those colors is. Formally, formally, never heard of this. But now, um, since I've been riding the bus, I'll be just sitting at like a bar scrolling Facebook, and I'll get hit with an ad and be like, "Well, buy no shoes." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which this is one of those shoes. Just going with it. Going with the pickups here. So these are a recent pickup. They're um they have they're a, a hiking sneaker. Mm-hmm. Adidas. Yeah. Gore Tex in them. And then they're like the tops all like waterproof. So this is like when this, when this is raining on the on the day I'm riding the bus, these are what I wear. And then mm-hmm. they have a, a a sole from some boot maker. Yeah. A little you know, protecting on the feet. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Continental, yeah. I hate how they sound when I'm in the office, though, like because we have tile, we have tile floors, and just squeak all day. But no, those are those are nice. But I got those to replace. Uh, yep. The Dunk um Off Mountain series, the yellow, mm-hmm. the brown one with the uh, I like these laces and these uh these eyelets. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I love the shoestrings with those. Yeah, yeah, those laces are nice. Mm-hmm. Very boot like. Yes, very, uh, no, and then like they're thick as hell. Um, they have it. Yeah, they're, they're, it's 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 a boot. Like it. Um, it has. I looked into it, and it has the same sole as. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Nike makes a uh, military boot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, if you go to Nike Better World, like like they are <laughs> support the military. You know? I don't know where your politics is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because it's where you no. manufacture the boots from. Oh, okay. No, it's not even where you manufacture the boots. It's that you're making it. Like a, I didn't, I didn't know that. Like I was, um, the the way I found out was that, um, uh, there's, a, I was, um, I was a producer at a at a top forty station in Manhattan, Kansas, and um, and I was, and I had a client come in that was from the military, and he was recording a commercial or whatever, and. <laughs> 
and I and I looked at his boot, and on just the inside of the so like this is like the inside of the sole, just barely there's a swish there. The rest of the mm-hmm. boot looks like the regular ass military boot. But mm-hmm. I was like, "Yo, hold up, are you wearing Nike?" <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he was like, let's get the subtle plug in here. <laughs> so yeah, subtle plug. Like, that that messed me up. That really messed me up. Uh yeah, I got, I got a couple more purple. Well, mm, just those, just those purple, those purple and uh, purple and gold that I got for Ray Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, that's just a this is a nice little short segment with that. Um I'm gonna have we're gonna... engine to everything. <laughs> Where you get in a you get in the story when you get in the story with all those um yeah so we're gonna get into the interview with um Paul I'm gonna ask him some questions um he is basically gonna take over the this part uh just, just like he does so um I'm gonna lead <laughs> off with I'm gonna lead off with uh Marco he always asked that question um that famous question so um Marco asked um Paul How's Paul that lead off question, sir? All right. All right. So, Paul, this is a question I like to ask everybody that comes on the show. Um, so what was the first sneaker that made you fall in love with sneakers? Like, what was that first sneaker that you said, oh, man, I got to have those? Uh, it was, a, I was, as a kid, uh, the Air Penny 2. Yeah, I, I have a pair, actually. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah. I- have a story about that as well uh, <laughs> we always have a story about that as well and so um paula get into it but he better hit all the keynotes absolutely fire yeah, sneaker Air Piggy too. um the, they, they, i mean absolutely. I, I, I still got them but uh, need and another I, and one I, and I are, did them, are those, I didn't are those the ones that you asked me to uh, restore a few they years are. ago yeah they okay are. i remember they, that yeah, yeah. I, i'm, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow uh <laughs> No, uh, so I get there. I get. I get the. Uh, I got the. I got those. Yeah, the black ones when I was in third, second grade, second mm-hmm. grade. I was in second grade in Sioux City, Iowa. Um, my parents had divorced, and so my dad was still here in KC, and I had come down to KC, and uh, my dad copped them for me, and I like Penny was my favorite player. Just on some like there was a, a kid sports illustrated, and um there was something about there was an article in there about how um he got his nickname because he had a coach that said if that there was one penny if I got one penny for every good play that kid made I'd be rich, mm-hmm. and uh, and that was how he got his nickname and they talked about him having court vision and then I learned about court vision through that and. And became a better court point guard just from reading that article. Like it really changed me for some. I don't know why it stuck with me so much. But uh, and then like the Lil Penny commercials with Chris Rock, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, Penny became my favorite player, and um, and ended up getting to cop those as a kid, and that was rare for me because like I was wearing hand me downs and stuff in Iowa. It it wasn't like. It wasn't a charmed. Uh, it, it was a fun existence, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, like I wasn't like a rich kid or anything. So um, that was that was a rarity for me to have uh, a fresh pair of Nikes. And yeah, playing football in those things, playing basketball in those things, <laughs> everything with <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, those pennies and shreds. But uh, yeah, that 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 black pair of penny uh, Air Penny twos. I really, I really love the silhouette and the uh, the reflectors, and it's just and the the lo- Penny's logo. I I, I think mm-hmm. Penny's logo is one of the slept on logos as far as things that uh, Nike has produced. Um, but these pennies, <laughs> the ones yeah, that I currently have, is what yeah. Blaze wants me to tell you about. <laughs> so I do. So um. Blaze is working at uh at, at Foot Locker in Manhattan in two thousand and eight. Is this eight or seven? Mm. Eight. Go with eight. Did I go with eight. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I went cause I matched them with that uh that uh that undercrown shirt. Yep. That uh was um 
they did they did uh Vince Carter over the French dude. Mm-hmm. But they mm-hmm. but they did it but they did it Obama over uh over McCain. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. <laughs> and I put him with that. I put him with that. But now uh what had happened was <laughs> we um I had called around to everywhere once we saw them in the Foot Locker like magazine, like they're coming up. And, and we called all around to all like the local stores because we're in Manhattan. Nobody's getting them. We called to uh Oak Park's Foot Locker and they're like, yes. So the day that um they're coming out we hit a neat oh by the way at this point neither of me or blaze own a car yes correct <laughs> we don't have a car absolutely and we are hell-bent on going to over the park to mm-hmm. get these stickers yes <laughs> so, <laughs> we hit up our friend maurice super sand stroke R. I. Mm-hmm. absolutely uh and he's like, yeah, I'm not doing shit that day. Take the car. <laughs> so, we, so we get the homie's car and he's like, yo, we gonna go to the gas station. I'm not about to get out the car, but we about to have a full tech. And I was like, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> that that word, I, I'm because because the thing was I wasn't driving and I was a little bit hungover and I I, I, I kind of slept I kind of slept on the whole way <laughs> but we get to uh we we get to Oak Park Mall it's when did it open like like nine in the morning like so we had to nine, leave nine. yeah not it opened mm-hmm. at nine in the morning so we had to leave we left at like seven a.m. like yep. this is stupid early for college students mm-hmm. uh. <laughs> On a Saturday. On a Saturday. It was cold. Mm-hmm. Like, there was man, snow on the ground. There was snow on the now. ground. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want to say it was a September release. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so, and the only reason I have the money is because I still have, like, a bunch of student loan money. <laughs> Blowing that on sneakers. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we get there, and um, there's only two other people there. For the release uh and, but everybody's there for the pennies uh this was my first re- oh this is my first release this is my the the penny two was my first like i'm showing up release date to get some sneakers this is that was my very first release mm-hmm. um well shit i don't think i've done a release since now that i'm thinking about it no because those uh those court purples i got online Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I, I haven't done a release since. Yeah, that's the mm-hmm. only release I've ever done. Um, and that's dead. That's dead now with like reserves and all that stuff yeah. and re- resale. Out. So that yeah. that that'll, that'll probably be your last one ever. So My, you enjoy. So I only that. have the one. The one. Yes. I only have the one. That's why. <laughs> yes, sir. That's that's why. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I and so we get there. Uh. That day, I I and I got two sneaks that day. Um. I got uh and they were they, they both had white soles. <laughs> I got uh the penny twos and there was a pair of do I oh shit, are those still back there somewhere? No, I think I still might have those. Um there was a pair of um there's a pair of dunk a pair of dunk highs that had a white sole and then um they were mostly suede, but in the middle they were they were leather they were black they were all black and then they had a like a print on them and and the leather uh yeah yeah i got yeah i got two shoes that day and you did too you you got the you got the penny twos Mm. and then you got those cactus fusions oh my goodness yeah that's right that's right i was on the fusion tip yeah you're right are we talking the fives and the fusion fives so. with the they three were, M they uppers. Were a, they were a brown fusion. They were they were brownish. Oh, no. They were like a tan mind. brownish. No mm-hmm. fusion. Not what I'm thinking of. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of green of... bean five uh, fusion is what I'm thinking. Because they labeled those as cactus. Uh, then I could be. I, I'm probably wrong. Uh, but no, they were they were brown. Wait, no. Were they a five? They Somebody were. Looked this up. They had to be. I don't know, man. They had to be a. 
they had to be a five. I had different types of fives because the fives that I um I had relations with Carmen, <laughs> I, had, I kept those fives on. And so I think that wow, was like the, y'all be talking like this on the podcast. I was yeah. about this. <laughs> no, um, I think I had I forgot what fives they were because you were you were the reason why I had those relations with Carmen and I had those I had a pair wait, of wait, fives wait, wait, on. Wait, 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 go back. Okay. Well, because I oh I oh man. I, I was like, I was like, man, should I do this or not? And all of a sudden I you slapped me in the back of my head and you was like, Ninja, you better go and do that. And so I remember having those fives on when I, that happened. I don't know if those were the fives that I bought, but those were a fusion fives that I had. Yeah. Oh again, my go God. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Coach look squad is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, did some things. <laughs> Speaking of stroke squad, let's, let's get back into that stroke squad <laughs> conversation. So in the intro, you heard about the origins of Stroke Squad. So let, let's talk about both of y'all in Stroke Squad and just y'all roles in Stroke Squad. Like what, who who was who was the leader? Who was, what was y'all role in that? What, so let's talk about somebody, Stroke Squad. Twitter. Oh, somebody gosh. on Twitter because I am not the leader of my group. That that would be me. I was considered the, the team, team captain. captain, Mr. Stroke but I, uh, but I hold on though hold on though what's up i nominated you to that position thank you let's, let's be real let's be Listen. real thank let's you be real. yeah so absolutely. like so like there's like in that conversation there's like delegates and shit like like absolutely so what your man isn't the leader of the group you know what i'm saying he he might be a delegate he might be a deacon or some shit like yeah, it's levels like <laughs> you could th- i mean like i, I I, I think of it like a like like a cathedral sense. Like I was like the pope, and so like you had like you know what I'm saying. Like you, I was there just for like shits and giggles. You know what I'm saying. Like it, I designed I, just, I designed those shirts too. Absolutely, absolutely. It was so. It, let me describe that shirt because I don't have the shirt anymore. Okay. I don't know anybody who still has a shirt. Man, um, listen, Javi still right. might have my shirt. Lord. Um. So. We went to the the local t shirt shop. Shout out to Thread in Manhattan. Yeah. Um, we all got a uh, we all got tall tees from uh <laughs> from Foot Locker. Mm-hmm. And then um and then uh it in big bold letters on the on the front of the shirt it said stroke with two exclamation points and then underneath that was uh an extra life mushroom from yep. Mario like the pixelated Love. joint yes sir mm-hmm. and the reason being <laughs> is because you get one up yep. and uh and one up was a new sexual partner so yeah yes mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> i had a i had a one up t-shirt back in the day i remember that <laughs> and then on the but then but then we took it way too far and on the back of the jerseys uh or not jerseys the back of the uh, the shirts um was your stroke name at the top yep. and then a big 69 yep and then he had and then blaze had the only one that had a delegation of who you were in the group and you know, on the bottom of his it said team captain on the back mm-hmm. but everybody else just had their name and uh and and uh their number and, but every number was 69 <laughs> um just just to go into the lore, um I was uh Roger A strokes a million. Yeah. The, the back of my the back of my shit just said strokes a million. And then um when we were like doing the whole intro pitch to people, I'd be like, oh, and the A stands for ah <laughs> <laughs> yes, Roger A stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and and then Blaze. Blaze was <laughs> Blaze is Mr. Stroke Tastic. Yeah. Like Mr. Fantastic. I get it. Absolutely. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I get it. <laughs> there are plenty the, <laughs> the lead. <laughs> it was the lead. Yeah. The homie that the and like I said, the homie that, that let us take the car to, to go get the pennies. Uh at rest in peace is uh, our friend. Oh he <laughs> Our friend Reese, our friend Maurice, he was uh super saiyan stroke. Yep. 
uh, uh, our friend Je- our friend Jeff is um suave stroke titious because he gets the bitches. Yep. Uh, that's crazy how you remember. <laughs> I, 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 that's crazy how you remember it. Yeah. Oh, you know, man. you uh, know what's what's wild to me is that I hung out with the Stroke Squad then before y'all was the Stroke Squad. So I hung out with y'all. I think that was spring of 07. Oh mm-hmm. no. I, oh, spring God. of 07. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell that story. That's no, no, no. We ain't gotta we ain't gotta <laughs> jump into that. Uh but I remember hanging out with y'all spring of 07. <laughs> and because I I all I'm gonna out. say is, all I'm gonna say is, Josh Criswell came into the bathroom and said, "Welcome to K State." Yeah, I remember that. I, mean, I do remember that. I how do you remember that? Because I, 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 that's one thing of that night that I remember. Uh, but, <laughs> yes, uh, oh, I remember God. coming down there as a as a. Oh. <laughs> Young oh, college a spry, student, a spry young youth, just, yes. just oh no, we were, we were, yeah, we were, we were seasoned alcoholics by the age yes, of nineteen. Yes, you guys, you guys oh, had no. me on E and J oh. for the first time that Oof. night. Yeah, Oof. easy Jesus. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> my Absolutely. apologies. But um, getting so so, I'll I'll get back into the sneakers. We got the, we got the sneakers. Came back. Oh, you um, want me to Paul, tell that part? <laughs> Absolutely, because I, I still I still need that patent. I'm gonna get that patent. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm with sorry, that shirt or I'm jersey. No, no. Nah, nah. Okay. Got so the we... sneakers came back. I need. I, I still need it patented. Okay. I'm I'm gonna do some kind of clothing okay. design. I don't know. I'll probably name my coaching workout stuff this oh, this exact no. word that he'll get into. Okay. Go ahead, Paul. Go okay, ahead. So, <laughs> so we get back. And this was like the first time I, again, the first time I like went to a release. I I got all sorts of student loan money that I, that I I'm I'm balling. I I feel great. And um and we get back and um our friends Jeff and Scott lived with Carmen, so Carmen lived upstairs and Jeff and Scott lived downstairs. And mm-hmm. so we're hanging out downstairs, and it's just and like I think Jeff had to work that day because he wasn't there. Um. No, he, yeah, he did have to work. He had to, he had to leave like like almost after I got there. Uh, but I had had so much money that I was like, "Yo, Scott, sell me a blunt, and I'm gonna face it like by myself. I'm gonna face a blunt by myself. This is what I'm doing." And uh, and so I'm I'm facing a blunt, and uh, and like I didn't even go home to like drop the shoes off. We just went straight there, and and I'm hanging out. And uh, and I have and I have the pennies on, and I am like just so happy and nostalgic about my childhood, blah blah blah, facing this blunt, and I just start spouting off the mouth. <laughs> freshness alert, <laughs> freshness alert, <laughs> and I started doing it like it was like a uh, like I just like had an anime in my mind, like it was like a. Uh, like it was like an alert going off at like some like crazy military base and like there was like like sirens going off and i just kept going freshness alert freshness alert the compound has been seized the compound has been seized freshness alert freshness <laughs> alert and i just high shit makes in this bullet doing this over and over and over it was and it was so funny that they didn't stop me. Like mm-hmm. no, like they could have stopped me and be like, dude, shut the fuck up. But it was so fucking funny at the time that they just kept letting me go, freshness alert, freshness alert. It was I, once I got to the compound has been seized, like everybody understood what that meant, and it was just mm-hmm. funny as it was just stupid. It was so stupid, but it was so silly and so funny in the moment. We could not help ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it was, it was good. So, fr- so freshness alert is something that I want to, I want to patent myself because it's something like you know, like a blitzkrieg or like a missile, missile crisis, and people just running oh, around no, the streets, oh, no. all the sirens going off, and so every <laughs> time. <laughs> so, like, just every time I get a sneaker, uh, that's still to, that's still to my head. You know, once I look at it, I smell it, I look at it, you know, I admire it. I'm smell like, it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you got to smell the sneaker. You got to yeah. smell the sneaker, yeah, that, new, that new sneaker that, smell is that something That new different. sneaker smell is, 
tremendous. Yes. Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> top, you might have got some Monday in the double. Top five smells. Top five. Just, nah. Sneaker like a like out the box fresh. Like you just get it. Wow. Yes. Wow. I'm telling. You, I'm just letting you know. Every time I get it, I'm like freshness alert. This is this is. That's like we're still talking stroke squad. Like that's getting weird. Like, no, I'm, yeah, I'm I, just, smell- <laughs> I smell the sneaker. Just it. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is a sneaker podcast. Absolutely. <laughs> you smell that sneaker. It's definitely a sniff. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness. This I'm is what- talking about it like that. Yes, absolutely. It's a yes. It's a it's 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 more. I feel like it's more than a sneaker, but it's definitely <laughs> precious <laughs> alert when I get it. So yeah, oh, you absolutely. have a wife and kids. Chill out. I don't care, man. I don't care. I know I'm. A, I, I got a whole family. Freshness alert. Sniff, <laughs> sniff. Freshness alert pops through my head. Absolutely. To the day I die. Oh, to the day man. it's the dirt. It what was you the mean? silliest. It was the silliest thing. It was the so silliest good. thing. But but like every. But the th- the thing about it was, um, I had talked about the like once once I saw the shoes in in the in the magazine. I've talked about them nonstop for like two weeks or so to to the point to the point that we could go get them. And so everybody knew that I was really, really, really like excited about these shoes and like went to the lengths of like arranging with Maurice to to, to take his car, having Blaze drive. Oh, and I couldn't I couldn't drive because my, that was the thing. I couldn't drive because my, my license was suspended at the time. So I had to so I had to um so I had to organize getting someone who could drive. And who was willing to drive, and then and then like, the, and then we got there and then got back, and so everybody knew the effort I had put into getting those shoes at that time, and and so me just sitting on the couch facing that blunt, uh, and then getting crazy high and being foolish and going to freshness alert. That was, <laughs> it, our friends still say like anybody that's in the room then was like, still on like, some freshness alert shit. Absolutely. Um, the, com- the compound has been seized. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last time they were retro was in 08. And so um I didn't pinning- get though. Oh no, no, no. Oh, the, the, no, no, with the, the 08, 08. 08. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. those things. So they came out in 08. And so with the penny ones coming out, I think they'll retro the penny twos, hopefully sooner than later. They um, did those, those they did those black ones that weren't technically retros. Mm-hmm. And I and I I didn't just didn't have the money at the time, and I am still sad about those. And those are those are going for like five or six or something crazy yeah. on StockX right now. Yeah, it's some it's something wild, but that's definitely that's definitely nostalgia with that. So I hope they re retro like the colorways out with those uh, definitely sooner than later. And so um, yeah, um, we'll get into I'll get into another question. Um, get into the basic questions. How did you get into comedy? Already know the answer to these, and uh, uh, I like to know. You, you actually have something to do with that, um, and you know that. I I was just uh, working as a uh, I was work I was working in uh, a mailbox factory mm-hmm. <laughs> with you mm-hmm. in Manhattan, yep. in Manhattan, and uh, um, just one day, um, our friend Scott that I mentioned earlier. Um, Scott was was working at Carlos O'Kelly's by the mall, <laughs> and heard on the radio about a comedy contest. And he was like, "Hey, dude, you're funny. You should enter." And I was like, "I don't know about that." And uh, he was like, first prize is a thousand bucks, and it's free to enter." And I was like, "Well, okay, I can try." <laughs> and then uh, recorded a three minute video and got into the contest. And then um, after the first week of the contest, the per- one of the people that was um, help hosting the contest put a uh, a wet paint wiki showing my age, uh, and this is mm-hmm. two thousand eight. And they put up they put up a a, a wiki page where um, they showed you the academic breakdown of stand up, like like a like setup, punchline, tag lines, misdirection, what have you. And uh, excuse me, and um, and I really understood it, took it to heart, and became a, a solid comic, and ended up. It was a four week elimination contest, and I survived all the eliminations. I uh, I did fresh 
I did a fresh set for each week. It was like, so I, I wrote a three minute set the first week that wasn't the same three minutes as my video, a five minute set the next week that was completely fresh, a seven minute set the next week that was completely fresh and a 10 minute set the next week that was completely fresh. And um, yeah, I really found my calling in that. And, and, and I ended up winning that contest and it was and I won a thousand bucks. And Blaze will have to tell you that um, in the following months, um, he really had to check. I think he slapped me one time <laughs> because I, I my my head got pretty big <laughs> after that, and um, and I just running around Aggieville, pretty much yelling, "I run this shit." Uh, I probably was saying exactly that, <laughs> and he said, "Come here." I was like, "What?" And he slapped the shit out of me. And was like, nigga, you're us. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like in the face or like yes. outside the head? No, no. Well, outside the head. Because like, I'm, I'm probably wearing glasses. So upside mm. the head. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but like, like forcefully hit me and was like, yo. Chill. Like, I get, I get that. I get that you did that shit. Yes, you did that shit. But yo, you're you're you you got some work to do still. Like chill the he, fuck out. Like well, he no, brought he, you he, back down to earth. Yeah, I will never forget that. I will, and I I keep it in my like it, it's it's a it's a it's a um what do I want to call it? it's a it's a for, it's a forming memory for me. Like I, I I keep that. Like I can I can never get out of line as far as like no, I'm that motherfucker. Like I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's uh, crazy so that's I how i got into comedy and then uh and also with that was um was a uh a, a contract to to be um a contract to to host their because mm-hmm. what they what the the comedy contest was actually for was a promotion for they were bringing in actual like touring comedy comedians on wednesdays so like the contest was on Thursdays and they were like, hey, come back Wednesday. Like we actually have funny people, not just these random locals. And uh and so I was hosting the Wednesdays. And so I got a lot of uh I got a lot of reps as a host and um like warming crowds up and stuff. But yeah, been paid in pizza. In <laughs> drinks. Apps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, it just it just like Chick Fil A now, like paying paying motherfuckers. Oh no! no. <laughs> paying people in chicken sandwiches, five chicken <laughs> sandwiches an hour. Chicken, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I'm that. I was like, oh, like no. God. some back like, to the who, future who's type taking, stuff. Who's taking that? A glutton? That that's got to yeah. be a glutton, right? That's taking that. Exactly. <sighs> Nobody likes chicken sandwiches that much. Not five an hour, Jesus Not Christ! Five. No, nobody likes chicken because I'm so I'm gonna come <laughs> in, work one hour, and then I'm gonna be here Tuesday through Saturday mm-hmm. to eat my chicken sandwich that I gotta pay for the fries for. I just if this only works if you can walk to your local Chick Fil A, which I feel like nobody can walk to a Chick Fil A. <laughs> No, no. Like that's why they had to engineer their drive-throughs the way they engineer them because <laughs> there's nothing but cars coming through there. So I feel like, yeah, if, if you can walk to your local Chick Fil, this works. Yeah, I work the lunch rush. Let me put it these. <laughs> right. I work a Monday oh, and then Tuesday God. through Saturday because I can't get the shit on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> getting some chicken sandwiches. Heck no, absolutely oh, no. not. So, uh, um, so next up, uh, next question. I'll just roll through those. Um, how did you how did you get to radio? I don't know the full in depth story with that. The comedy thing. Okay. It was, so it like that's that that's just a, a through line. What had happened was that um, the stations that were putting on the uh, the comedy contest mm-hmm. as a promotion, um, I ended up doing stand up for three years like oh i was crushing open mics um i ended up this is the recession so the recession happens and i financially drop out of k-state and i end up moving back to kc and just living in my grandparents basement 
And um, eventually, the only job I can get is back in Manhattan <clears throat> at, uh, excuse me, at, um, at Longhorn Steakhouse. And this is January 2011. I get a job at Longhorn Steakhouse. And I'm just working fry salad back there. And, um, but I, at this point, won the first contest, uh, judged the second one, hosted the third, fourth, the third and fourth ones. By the time I'm hosting the fourth one, which is in April of 2011, um, after I had hosted that, um, they had, um, brought me in and was like, Hey, I think you'd be good at radio and, and, um, made me their, uh, they made me a board op for Kid Craddock in the Morning, which was syndicated out of Dallas. Kid Craddock said RIP, uh, was syndicated out of Dallas. And then um, I was, uh, so I was like working like 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then uh, they brought me on to be their night guy for their for the top 40 station. And so I was working 7 to 10. So I would like get there at 6 a.m., leave at 10, and then come back and then work 7 to 10 at night. <laughs> Damn. So, <clears throat> excuse me, doing that in radio, uh, and then um, because I was so good at that, uh, six months later in January, uh, two thousand twelve, they taught me how to produce commercials, and uh, I was really proficient at that uh, to the point where I was telling someone this the other just like a couple of days ago that uh, I was um, I had produced a commercial, and um, when you're working in commercial radio as a producer, they can just sell whatever you, they can, they can just use whatever you made for another client because you already got paid hourly for the shit. Mm -hmm. And I was watching an NBA all-star game and a commercial popped up for a car dealership and the audio was the audio for my, my radio commercial. I saw I, my voice was on TV and I didn't know it was going to be there. That was, that was crazy. Um, so I teach produce commercials and I get good at that. And then um a year and a half later, I uh randomly applied at How 103 and um and I and I felt comfortable doing that because I knew that the program director there was um his parents lived next door to my grandparents here in KC. And I am a firm believer in it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. What you know, who you know gets you gets you in the door. What you know allows you to stay there. Mm -hmm. But it's but it's a hard it's a hard time to find the door if you don't know who knows where the door is. Mm -hmm. Very true statement. Absolutely. So. So um, yeah, so I uh, I get the job here. At 103 in uh 2000 September 2013. I stay there for almost three years. I left in uh, February 16. Won't get into that. Mm -hmm. Um and then uh and the the only reason I have the job that I have is because um I was living with my partner at the time and um she didn't feel obligated to listen to 103 when we were in the car on the weekends. Um after I had left. And so she started listening to the NPR and I'm listening to things like car talk and wait, wait, don't tell me. And I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. And this is in 2016. And she was like, it's NPR. What are you talking about? She was raised on it. I had no clue what NPR was mm -hmm. until 2016. Mm -hmm. And so um, I want to say, uh, so I'm like, I'm working food service, like two jobs in food service at the time. And uh, and I just happened to look up um, jobs at at KCUR, and there was a a job for race and culture reporter. And I was like, and they had a and part of the requirements or like what they would like from you is to have like two plus years in radio. And I was like, I got five. Like I mm -hmm. know I can apply for this, uh, but uh, I didn't get that job. Um, I, I lost out to a real winner in Michelle Tommy Johnson. This person is a, a, a lawyer, a playwright. While she was at KCUR, she got a Pulitzer grant to do some MLK reporting. The, wow. 
Th- yeah, no, they're <laughs> nice. No, but right. Sean Tyree Johnson is the GOAT. Sheesh. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I lo- I lost to a real winner. <laughs> like, mm. nah, man. I'll hold the fuck out of that L. But, <laughs> but no, um, but uh they kept my uh they kept my uh my my application around my resume around and then out of nowhere they needed a weekend announcer. And I was list- I was literally listening to an NPR podcast when I got an email saying, "Hey, uh, we're looking for an announcer." Nice. And I had, uh, and this is what I share with um, with with uh, radio students is that um, I had a, uh, so I had an interview, nothing really happened, and then um, and I had already sent my air check, which an air check is just um, a. Uh, a minute or so of you just re- being really good on air and like stuff you were doing and like um a really mixed down version of like clip after clip after clip after clip some could be mm. commercials some could be interviews some could be you making a really good joke in the moment blah blah blah, blah. um so i sent that i had sent that commercial air check and that commercial air check will get me a job at any mid-market or um or uh lo- or um what do they call them below market because i'm in a large mar- i'm in a large market mm-hmm. uh, small market so mid market or small market so I, I that air check could get me a job at any mid market <clears throat> or small market station in the country uh i guarantee it but um but what i did was uh i went i took it upon myself to um and with this mic which is why I say it pays, it already paid for itself. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I recorded a, uh, just a, a, a fake news broadcast. It wasn't fake. Like I like reported on actual stuff, but like I made myself sound like NPR. I took a clip from, I stole a clip of Trump speaking at the white house and like from YouTube and put that in and like, that's your week in a minute. And just did that within hours. I got, uh, a reply like hey come in we can talk i mm. didn't know that us talking was them already offering me the job like i i got the job before i stepped foot in that building mm. because i because i had sent that that week in a minute and so what i uh what i've shared with one of the professors at umkc and i share it often i'm um, like hey make sure your students see this is that that air check that's really good that's commercial and would get me anywhere commercially but also that week in a minute that i did and i and i share it with the caption know your audience very fair I like that i like that that's good that's good i didn't know anything about that with you um with you getting getting in there and the, the way you went about that so I love I, I love that grind of it and uh, how you prospered into that. Um, and so, uh, m- um, great story, by the way. Um, my 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 next question, my last question is my favorite question. It's just like it's just face face. <laughs> give me the history. Give me the history of we're, that. We're um face we're face. actually we're actually know, um mom. we just celebrated our tenth birthday. Okay. Um, I was in Manhattan. And in 2012, uh, working in radio, then like also radio helped me into this. This is kind of silly. Uh, <clears throat> and um, I was doing a lot of rapping with F14. Yep. Uh, shout out to uh, Wayne Valentine, A Ballum. Um, Absolutely. And uh, I had, I was living with a guy named Cody Dietrich, and he grew up with a guy named. Um, Aaron Dale Toms. Aaron has a little brother named Ryan Lee Toms. Cody and Aaron really like like did a lot to like shape they they listened to a lot of weird music, with a lot of good and weird music, and they really shaped um Ryan's taste and stuff. Ryan turned out to be an incredible musician. Mm-hmm. the dude is incredible phenomenal and um but like but yeah but it's also like weird and has like quirky taste 
and, and also like grew up in the 90s so like yeah a lot of similar and um <clears throat> and we we joked that we joked that uh like one out of my every like six or seven freestyles is good um <laughs> and one day aaron was visiting cody and uh brought his uh wife at the time they were divorced uh and uh and 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 ryan and um and we're just like smoking and drinking in our living room and like before we like going to the bar and ryan starts beatboxing and because like cody had like oh was like yo he's been rapping like he raps like he's solid and yeah and then ryan starts beatboxing and out of nowhere i have a solid freestyle that day <laughs> Mm-hmm. No idea what I said, but it was a solid freestyle. And we um and he's like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And he's and he had been like making beats and like putting out instrumental albums and stuff. And he had a uh he had an instrumental album. He was like, yo, rap over any of this. I don't care. And and I uh and there was a song that he had called Bill Dolier. <laughs> oh this silly actor movie, but I'm not gonna get into it. But uh, but uh he had this song and um and it was like it's like four minutes long and i just straight mixtape style all the way through rapped over this song but how i did that was because i was working at the radio station and they taught me how to record myself and produce and stuff so i had to be in a in a multi-track and like rapped over it because i knew how to do that and mm-hmm. so sent him the raw vocals of me rapping over the beat without the beat and like but like time like synced up and stuff and um <clears throat> the day later he sent me back this inc- and I'll um I'll I'll drop the link for you guys um he sent me this incredible uh song that ended up being like the closer of uh the mixtape that has the the song that you love so much Mm-hmm. With a plant on it. Plant on, yeah. The one, the one that closes that mixtape. Uh huh. That's the that's the first one that we did together. Okay. And, and that was uh, and that was in 2012. Wow. And that that was that was that was June of two, that was June of 2012 that that we uh that we made that first song. Huh. Ah. And so, and we re- we worked remotely because he was in KC and I was in Manhattan. Mm. And we yeah we did that completely remotely. Mm. And then, um, and then, and then the next year, I moved to Man. I moved back to KC with a Hot One Three job, mm. and so we're living together and working on a new album. Mm. And then, so that's how mm came about. But we didn't get that out until February of sixteen. Yeah, mm. February February sixteen. Um, and that was a product of uh. The reason why we released it when we released it was because um, we uh, dropped our lead single on out that was back to the sneakers. Uh, <laughs> we dropped our lead single and um, and uh, I put it on Twitter and Cricket Eye um, does. Uh, mm. He just talks to Sam like about mm. rap and he had said uh, he was like, yo, like, what's the game missing for y'all? And somebody was like, one of his followers was like, um, it's either like, like at this point, and this is 2016, it was like at this point, it's either, and I, I could say the same still, um, it's either uh, really dope beats with lyrics I just can't vibe with, or um, way too lyrical and like boom bappy or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I think my band rides this line pretty well check out my pin tweet because my pin mm. tweet was uh the we awesome video right and um and i'm just responding to the fan and then crooked eye was like yo this is dope mm-hmm. basic I, i'm you know and i was like oh shit dope enough for a retweet <laughs> and then he retweeted it and he's like this is what the game is missing dope beats fun lyrical bars mm-hmm. And then, uh, and so Crooked Eye retweets that. And then Raw Digger in the same day was like, oh shit, is, is, oh, what did she say? She said, uh, what's his name? 
Oh god damn it. I wish I was I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. If I had a girl. Oh gosh. What is that? What is that dude? Yeah. But she was like, yo, this guy in 2020, like, tell me this man is bad. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, we have to drop the album right fucking now. <laughs> mm. And so we haphazardly dropped the album without enough promotion. And yeah, it should have been better, but um, that's what it quick, is. Uh, quick Google search. It was Ski Low, is who you're Ski Low. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she was like Ski Low in 2020. Mm. And so that was a that was a whole thing. Uh, it's kind of tight. Or in 2018, whatever the fuck it was. But yeah, um, that was that, that was uh, um. Oh, let's get to the sneakers that relate to that story. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Just rolling through um in the set. So yeah, basically basically just telling Paul or asking Paul these questions about. You know, he's got plenty of things going on, and so letting them know. And so okay, he's pulling so out the sneakers. We we do, we notoriously um in that in that we awesome video, me and my bandmate both wear Kooji sweaters. That Kooji sweater is 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 tremendous. And uh and um back in 2020, um uh, found them on stock. Uh, uh my, my my bandmate found them, but then um my bandmate found them, but he was like, Oh hey, check this out, this is cool. And, uh, and then I found them on StockX, and I bought both of us the sneakers. And mm. uh, Puma did these. Absolutely. And I have yet to uh, DS those. I've had these for two years. These are the sneakers I've longest DS. I've, I've had these for two years. Oof. Uh, yeah, he's he's worn them. I, I have yet to. <laughs> and I'm waiting for, like, the what? next, like, iteration of the album or whatever to get to rocking those. What's the value of most stock X now? Now that they two years dead stock. But the funny, the funny thing was that uh, I don't know the the uh, the funny thing was that when I copped them, they were way less than the retail. Like the retail was like one eighty, and I think I paid eighty for each pair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those dropped significantly by the time that I got them, and I think they were like two years old by the time I was getting around to them. But no, got them fresh. Nice, nice. So I got one here for you, Paul. Uh, it's it's a rock stock or drop here. Um, so tell me which one you rocking, which one you stocking, which one you dropping. Oh, please um, tell me you can show pigs. No, 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 no. Uh, we we gonna go off of shoes that you know. So okay, um, okay. So we got the the penny twos that you that you love so much. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh. We'll go with your De La Soul dunks that you have there as well. Oh, if I could have known to stock those. Ugh. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go with. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of another sneaker that doesn't have a, a white midsole here for you. <laughs> um, go with those Pumas you just pulled out. Yeah, let's go oh, with those got, Pumas. Oh, go with those Pumas again. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. I mean, I already let's go with those Kooji Pumas. Pumas. I already stopped. No. So, oh, God. So, no. But no, if, nope. if, if this oh. is no no consequences oh, here, man. which one you rocking, which one you stocking, which one you dropping? Both oh, them Pumas you stacked in front of. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Business decision. Because, because I know, because I know. Wait, hold on. I have to drop one? Yes. yes. We have to drop Oh, one. no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> No, because they're right in front of me, and I'm looking at them. Oh, oh I hate this. Oh, this is a terrible question. Oh, oh no, because you're 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 telling me to to like compare my childhood to my adulthood. Like yes, like, what yes, the, yes. This is bad. This is evil. Make oh, a decision. No. Make oh, some no. decisions. Let's go. Okay, I am. Yes. Mm. All right. God damn it. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, uh, g- g- give me a second. This is choosing between children. <laughs> oh god. Rocking stock. Because I have to drop one of these. That that's the biggest. That was I, I don't care if rock or stock. I have to drop one of these. Yes. Go that's ahead. The problem. Go, go ahead with the, the rock. Go ahead with the rock first. 
Because you're rocking the pennies first. I know that I'm rocking the pennies. I you're know rocking, the, rocking pennies. the pennies. You're rocking the pennies. So I what gotta, are you? Ah, gotta, what are you stocking? You, you what are you? Okay, what so is, my yes. bandmate is never gonna listen to this. So I'm definitely. <laughs> No offense to y'all, but he won't. He doesn't care about you for some fucking reason. Uh, but I, oh, I gotta drop those pumas. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at them like, do, do I it. have to like leave you them do. now? Because I haven't fucking worn them, and now you're telling you me that I have to drop them. You like do. I haven't even worn them yet, dog. Like, oh my god. So go ahead and oh. say to, say what you're rocking, say what you're stocking, and say what you're dropping, and say it with your chest when you do that. Go ahead, mm. come on, man, mm. come on. Okay. Make it simple. No, no, no. Make it easy. No, I'm not making it simple. I'm not making <laughs> it simple because I'm 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 going to a different sneaker. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> just as ra- just as randomness, we give them these. We give them these three. Can you get that? Which one is that? Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna drop if I'm gonna drop if I'm if I'm gonna to stock an SD, am I? Are you still good? Are we good? Yeah, we yeah, good. Yeah. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna drop it if I'm gonna stock an SB, it's not gonna be those De La Souls. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drop those Pumas. Okay. I'm gonna rock the pennies. Yep. I, I might even hoop in them. I hooped in those ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna stock the Dorothy's. Yeah. Okay. So we replace these, the Daylight Souls with the Dorothy's. The Dorothy's yeah, I'm gonna stop. We're stock gonna the stock Dorothy's. those because I'm because I'm a Kansan. Yep, I'm a Kansan. Absolutely, we're not in Kansas anymore. I mean, I'm technically I'm in Strawberry Hill. I'm in Kansas right now, but I'm the same. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the Dorothy's. No, I'm, I'm, I'm at every moment. I'm going to try to figure out how to show you all the sneakers I have pulled out right now. <laughs> nah, these, is... I, these are these are special, and I got these. Uh, for Christmas one year, um, my my partner at the time got me both of these. Mm-hmm. The the blue sweat, the deep royals. Those. Yeah, it's got those. I got those the same year. As that was, that was nuts. Dunks. How did you get infatuated with dunks? You. Okay. Okay. You, <laughs> you told me that because like cause so like I was trying to wear forces and like I'm a skinny dude and they look fucking silly on me. <laughs> And you told me about your cousin in New York that yep. strictly wears dunks. Dunks. I started looking Dre. at dunks after that, and like it was over. How, right. how do you how do you feel now that dunks are just like the boom, the craze, like the it sneaker? Um. Do you feel like people are I, just like jumping feel, on your wave one, now, or I feel, like I feel one vindicated. But like, I guess I can't feel vindicated because it's, it's Dre shit. <laughs> right. like, I, I, I hopped on his word. Uh, <laughs> but I was in Kansas. He was in New York. We didn't have the same way. <laughs> but, Absolutely. Uh, but uh, I feel vindicated slightly, but then also annoyed. Um, and I <laughs> annoyed because I, um, I uh, he'll never, he'll never, somebody might take it. Uh, I got to be careful with this. I I uh I I share I share a, a lo- I share a, a local watering hole with um someone who um uh, runs a store owns a store that uh has one of the two Nike SB accounts in the city. Mm-hmm. And um I became privy to how Things get distributed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Hmm. That's great. That's great. I love it. I love it. Interesting. <laughs> right. Yes. Mm. Yes. I like mm. it. I feel like I've said too much. No, 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 no. Uh, little, little, little insider trading ain't hurt nobody. You ain't going to <laughs> Hey, you ain't Martha Stewart or nobody. You good? Yeah, ain't nobody uh, told you that if you don't move your money, you <laughs> gonna be right. gone. <laughs> gonna be gone. <laughs> so you good? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I appreciate yeah. that. So, <laughs> absolutely. Mark, yeah, you got any? Let me know when you stop recording. Right. Uh, absolutely. I think I think that's all I got. 
Oh, I got so much. Y'all don't even hit the second daily double. I got some. Oh man. Nah, Paul, go ahead and do your thing, man. Go and do your thing. What can, I, can I just can I just like showcase shit? Like can absolutely. I, can I just get into that? Because I, I oh man, it's a sneaky podcast, though. Absolutely. Uh, a, another gi- another gift from an ex. Uh, the bloody. Oh, Sunday. them thing. Them bloody oh. Sundays are Ooh. still. Yeah. I still need those. Absolutely. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a gift from an ex. Is that, is that um, velvet? Yes, yes. It is. yes, tremendous, it is. yes, tremendous. It is. The double with buddies. the patent leather. Oh boy, yeah, um, absolutely. Um, what else, Paul? What shout them? out, shout out to uh, shout out to um, the homie for working at Foot Locker and getting me the dunk freeze. I low key like those freeze, and I didn't even know they existed. And they were like, Paul, there's a new dunk out there. And I was like, what? And then I got them um, for the Lolo because they worked at Foot Locker. Oh, my them, goodness. Absolutely. Because uh, uh, Look at this bullshit. I low-key love that. Oh, man. It's a, it's a great. It's so it's so light. It's so light. Um, the for only sneaker that still exists from the Stroke Squad days outside of the Penny 2, the Air Zoom Dunk Esto. Oh, my gosh. You got those? Yeah, the Dunk Esto, which is, uh, for those who don't know, is a dunk with Presto fabric in the middle. Yes. Uh, yeah, that one's that one's a solid one. Oh um, my gosh! Go ahead and do your thing. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, AJ three D. What in oh, the devil the are you cleats. doing with those? What the are you cleats. doing? <laughs> clean with those. What are you doing? Oh, Wait a minute. Boy. What are oh, you doing? Boy. You get yeah, out there man. playing some football. Those, those are on eBay. Those are on eBay for way less than they uh retailed for for some reason. I got these for like 70 bucks. Crazy. Oh boy. Um I mean like the golf ones. Oh, oh, I wanted those so bad. Yeah. Um, here's an SB people are sleep on. These are the 852 Janowski's. I saw you in those Janowski's. Yeah, you and got you I, you got me into the Janowski's. And so, I have uh, so these are, blaze, these those are leather um with the zoom with the zoom air sole and um uh, these are my dress shoes. Mm-hmm. I, those would be approved I've, for the award show. I've never okay. I've never not gotten a job wearing these. Every job interview I've gone to with these, I've got and I'm like nice. three for three of them shits. <laughs> uh, I'm a, crazy. I got I got two more. I'll leave you with two more. I'll leave you with two more. Come um, on. do you want me to do the uh the the other daily double first, or do you want me to do the other last shoe? Because the um, double is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna unbag a jersey. I want you to do the daily doubles last. So okay. go ahead and um, hit that okay. other shoe up. Um. Recent pickup. These are kamikazes. Yep. Absolutely. The nerf the, joints. The nerf joints. Yeah. Does We're, Black Ranger have those? Black Ranger he's got, got the lows. He's he's got the lows and they're yeah. black. They're yeah. like black on the lows. But they're like two, two different colorways completely. Mm-hmm. These shoes are nuts. They, I yep. love them. Um, I do like but, those. But that, those are another one I'm DSing, waiting to like do some face face shit in just because that, that matches. In the coochie. Uh, yeah yeah uh oh the last one the last one so uh waiting on chief season do we do we do we sneak in those uh those laker dunks did that get into this uh conversation no you didn't put those you didn't put those in though you need to get those uh, the stock x tag on oh uh, yeah uh, laker dunks with the with, with the with the track suit yeah. with the fit. I, I got a question. Do you keep the stock X tags? Because we 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 usually um, denounce I, stock X I, tags. I, so I only kept them you on know. those I only kept them on those uh those Laker dunks. I did not keep them on the what's the other one that I had from Stock X? I didn't keep them on the Pumas. I took them off the Pumas. Is, uh, is there a reason the, why you only, left it on there? I thought it was funny. Okay, so it was a flex. It was a flex. It was a I flex. Yeah, because I because I was going I to uh, I was going to our big donor party. That's like a thousand dollars a table kind of shit. And I get so you. yeah, so I'm and it, and I, I missed the memo that it was a garden party and everybody get there and they have like floral prints on. I'm like, what are you? What, did I miss the memo? And they're like, yes, nigga, you missed the memo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in God. there and and that tracksuit 
with the purple the purple and gold tracks with the uh with the 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 Laker dunks and uh a white Kango bucket mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> and great pictures. and everybody was just like yo no I, this rocks I like this like, <laughs> like then you're fine like yeah you're not in floral shit but I fuck with it this is a, this is a garden party fit okay <laughs> all right um so the unbagging do we want the jersey or the sneaks first uh, uh let's go jersey first and then sneaks last all mm-hmm. right um this is a chinese knockoff because i don't fuck with paying 300 dollars for jerseys mm-hmm. um i'm not gonna knock oh that's dope who you got it's a 35. 35. It's a Chiefs jersey. Who's 35? Is that um, a back? And a loss. It is a back. It's a back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the numbers and are I'll back. Give you a, I'll give you a clue. It's a cheat code in a very early game. A very early game. Who is that 35? Oh, he's I'm a, He's an absolute nightmare. Who is this? Christian Okoye? Okoye? You looking at that? What? You, come on, dog. You, are, know, you are losing cool points by the I'm microsecond. Sorry. Christian Okoye? Yeah, dog. Uh, but again, just sitting at the bar because I got, because I ride the bus and I got money now. <laughs> and I picked mm-hmm. these up. Uh, these are the... Uh, the uh Marvel crossover with the with the uh Adidas, the are the Rocket Raccoon Guardians of Galaxy joint. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And I like this uh this 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 bungee lace joint. That's kind of cool. That is dope. Yeah. And they and so, they're cushy as hell. Christian Okoye, that's a you're you drawing a blank on Christian Okoye. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm yeah, the Nigerian it's, nightmare. It's, that that is this what man I is a Tecmo Bowl legend. <laughs> <laughs> you Nigerian nightmare. Yeah, I yes, with you, that makes sense. That makes Goodness absolutely gracious. sense. Gracious. He played from 1987 to 92, Paul. We was about five, six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go back and study your classics, son. You act I'm like you, you act like you was an adult when Biggie came out. That is a, that is a fact. You're right. Oh my goodness, he got into the he got into the Chiefs Hall of Fame. Yeah, dog. You know, he's on the he's on the ring. He's on the ring. He's on the Ring of Honor. So I got to give Come him respect. On, Nigerian Nightmare Christian, Christian Okoye. Okoye. Let's oh. Give it up. Like what? Oh. I'm gonna oh. kill him, Red Friday, dog. Oh my gosh, you Close are going to turn some heads with that. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. He was in Sports Illustrated in '87. 87. I was boy. born in 87. Study your classics. <laughs> I do. I need to study my history. My I wasn't history around yet. I wasn't around yet. <laughs> my history needs the Nigerian nightmare. He looks like an animal. Look how big them pants Go is. look at those Goodness videos. Gracious. Go look at those videos. He's absolutely disrespecting people. Oh He's a gigantic gosh. So, like, you know how they let uh, the fridge run in, like, one touchdown one time? And it was like, oh, my God. He was just mm. that. <laughs> he was just he, a gigantic he, nigga running as a, as a running back. He he reminds me of the UFC yeah. guy, um, dark dark skin guy, bald head. Um, the Cormier? UFC cat. No, no, not Cormier. The um dark dark skin like right oh. now, like dude oh, is um know. dude is a monster. I forgot my man's name. Hold on, wait a minute. Look my yeah. man up. But the that's Nigerian what we nightmare. Nigerian man. nightmare. That makes sense for you. Uh, yeah. I gotta rock with Africa. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Did I plug the jerseys? <laughs> Is my mic still working then? No, nah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you talked about <laughs> us. Um, bet that, bet that. Um, what was the link I needed to drop you? Uh it was for one of your songs, is what you, you oh, told us. The um oh the the old song. The old song. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that out here. Um, 
You you got anything else for the interview there, Blaze? No, sir. No, sir. My bad. My bad. I'm 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 off script looking at it, trying to look at <laughs> Nigeria the dark skin. No, I'm trying to look who oh, you that, reminds that, me that, of. Oh, yeah. The UFC <laughs> fighter. My bad. No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm good. So we can move on. The, the interview with Paul, we can move on with that. And uh, let's get into the gifts. All right. So uh, we'll just, we'll hop into gifts. Uh, Blaze, how about we we alternate here between the, the, the sneakers? So like I'll do one, you do one, you I do it. one, you do one. Uh, so okay. uh, sneakers releasing for gifts this week are going to be between 731 and 86. Um, release dates are subject to change, so please don't hold us to the release dates. Um, first sneaker up on the list is dropping on 8-2. It's going to be the Yeezy Boost uh, 700. Um, these are going to be the high-res blue, um, basically the counterpart of um, the uh, high-res red that I own, which uh, if y'all know what those look like. Uh, this is basically the blue version of them. So uh, you no have white an souls. All, okay. No white souls. Uh, <laughs> so they right up your alleyway there. Uh, but anyway, all all blue upper for the most part. Uh, you have suede on the heel. Um, suede in the uh, black of the mid panel here. Um, it looks like you got like a light purple or a light violet um, color right here in the toe box. And on the... Uh, so uh, there's going to be some lighter suede there as well. Um, mesh. And then, of course, you got the three stripes that are hidden in mesh in the mid panel. Um, Whoa, I didn't even have, see that. Yep. Three stripes are hidden right there. They're uh, 3M reflective, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, you have the uh, zoom lacing uh, there. So if you want to change out the laces, they do come with an extra pair of laces. You have to cut those laces, though, uh, that they come pre laced with. Yep. In order mm -hmm. to uh, change out the laces, you got to cut the what? laces because because the zoom zoom lacing that they have zoom there um, is is pre laced. You <laughs> cannot change it unless you cut the laces. I am poor. Um, <laughs> uh, you got a blue midsole uh, with the little orange splash there in the middle. Um, you got the boost in the midsole as well. Um, and then you have the uh, traction of all the Yeezy 700s on the outsole there as well. Um, these are dropping as one of the Yeezy Day releases. Um, they are scheduled to release at $300, which is kind of high. If you this ask is stressing me, stressing me out, dog. It's kind of high. Get over the, I can't get over me. this laces. Uh, uh, nah, bro. Uh, uh, no, you're I mean, kidding me. 300 is high, man. Um, That's half my rent, dog. <laughs> I, I paid like 220 for those court purples. Like, stop it. Um, so, yeah. the the They're they're a fire sneaker. Don't let me lie to yes. you. I, they I look good. They I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. They look good. I won't lie um, about that. But, like, I'm way too poor to be cutting laces, dog. Like, if, if <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, no, man. Like, like. If I get, oh man, what? I mean, I got you the high res cut reds. The laces? Did you? I cut got the, the high res reds, and I did not cut the laces. I kept exactly. the zoom lacing exactly. in there. Exactly. Like, but what? it 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 does come with an alternate pair of laces if you want what? traditional laces. Why um, would they so... do that? So fucking mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. So what? for me, I'm going to say got to have them, but not via retail. I'm going to say got to have them via trade block. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to trade and orchestrate my way to getting these um, because I do like No, I need y'all to rock. I need, I need the two of y'all to rock, stock, and drop the fucking Yeezys with the laces or not. Oh, with the laces or not? What do you mean? Are you cutting those laces and rocking huh? them? Are you? Are, well, are you, oh, are I'm you... I'm rocking them with the zoom laces. I already told you I got Absolutely. the high res reds, and I'm rocking them with the zoom laces. Um, I'm not cutting the laces. I'm not doing that. Uh, exactly. This is I'm just, bizarre. I'm just not doing it. I didn't even actually are, is adjust any, is the anybody... laces at all straight out the box. I just threw them on. I hardly um, ever do that unless I'm like gonna hoop in that shit. Uh, but I, I don't hoop anymore. Um, I I oh my god, I have so many fucking questions. 
like all right all right you are- paul we we're gonna come back to you we're gonna throw it over to blaze first and then we'll come back to you last there paul because i know you're gonna have a long <laughs> elaborate story about these so blaze what's your thoughts on these I gotta have them i'm gonna pay over resale for them these will probably be the first yeezys that i get um i like these like you like the reds their boss man i gotta have them i'm not cutting the laces though nothing hell no um, but I'm, I'm definitely paying over for these. Um, if I don't get these on Yeezy day, I'm going to pay over. These are going to be the first Adidas or first Yeezys that I get. And so I got to have these res blues. These things are fantastic. So I got to have them and no, I'm not cutting the laces when I get them. So resale, retail, I got bots working. If I can get a pair of these or if I could swap them trade, but I got to have these, these are the ones. So, um, uh, Paul, go ahead and do your thing. I, I like them. Um, only retail. Okay. Only retail. Okay. Um, so to give y'all what the people said about these, <laughs> uh, we'll give y'all a, a quick, quick shot at that. Uh, yep. To give y'all what the people said about these, uh, fifty percent of people said gotta have them. Twenty-eight percent of people said flip them. Seventeen percent of people said trash, and six percent of people said sleep for cheap. So, um, I don't know. Yeah. That six percent tripping. They yep. they gonna be no, hard. Those to are, get. those hit, those hit. They gonna be hard to get to say the least. Um, oh, the sneaker that I'm mad about. Um, I found out about those uh, those those court purple and black uh. Air more up tempos. I found out about those. The that Hibbit exclusive. I found out about those too late. Yeah. And I and I and I did, like the plugs that I went through. Everybody was like, the lie. Oh, yeah, I was pissed off about that. Mm, mm, mm. So, uh, next sneaker on the list, we're actually gonna throw over to Blaze and let him uh give y'all a quick description of that one. So these are releasing on August the 4th. These are the Jordan 12 low, um, 25 years in China. These are going for 200 of them stripper ones. And um, basically, long story short, they are um, a low taxi um, with Chinese imprint um, around them. And so I'll get into them. And so um, the basically the... Uh, um, midsole around them or just the upper, not midsole, but the upper part about them is white and um, white with um, with a gray on the tongue with the Jumpman logo on them. Um, the main part about them which pops and makes people interested about them to me is uh, the midsole that's um, primarily black. That looks like a patent leather. Um, I believe, is that patent leather, Marco? On that patent yeah, leather with, um, yeah, the, the mudguard definitely has a patent leather. Um, right. And it looks yes. like like a reflective, like confetti type of print. Yeah. And so um, reflective with the celebration of China. And so um, that is that. And so the mud guard, just like what Marco said, is black with reflective. Um, the the bottom or the outsole of it is primarily black with gray around it. And um, it features everything that a Jordan 12 would present and um, comes in, comes in a black box, black and gray box. And, um, the um, sock sock liner is black, um, and it also comes with the black tag around it. And um, I believe it comes with the um, 23 on the back. I don't know the color of that, um, but I believe I, I would say that it is gray on the back of it. And um, so and overall, um, for me, it is a I don't want to say trash. Um, I just kind of got it. It's a like a it's a sleep. It's a, it's a very kinda, passable shoe. It's a passable sneaker for me, um, as well. But it, I would say, it's a sleeper. I mean, like if I see it around, just to have it. But I don't have any relations with, um, China. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark, but I gotta jump in. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> only, only way I'm seeing these is under a bodycon dress at the club. Oh my damn! That's how you feel. Okay, <laughs> but Otherwise, uh, get them away from me. <laughs> um, what would interest me is the confetti around them, but other than that, you know what? They're trash. I'm Thank just gonna you. just go and say it's a twelve. It's a low. 
it's, that's a bad silhouette. Yeah, everything about him is just it. it yeah, it it doesn't it doesn't the, do it the for 12 me. Twelve low is a bad silhouette. Just just go just just start okay. from there. Okay, I'll give you that. The twelve low is a bad. The silhouette. twelve low bell is The twelve in general, I like. And, and you want to see the twelve when you see the twelve low. That's why it sucks. Yeah. You want to yeah. see the you want to see the high when when like once you're presented with the low, you're like, oh, I remember the high. The high looks great. That that silhouette sucks. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. And for that and for that price point of two hundred, it's trash for me. And so, yeah. uh, Mark, what's yeah. your thoughts on these? I, I agree with you. I, I think at 200, they're asking for way too much. I think Jordan Brand is kind of trying to pull the wool over our eyes here a little bit with all these price hikes that they've had here recently. Can you get a J for less than two? Uh, You can get a few select models for like 170, something like that. It's not very many that you can get for under 200 at this point because everything has jumped to that $200 price point. Yeah. Everything just recently jumped from 190 to 200 um, or 200 plus. Like you got some stuff just randomly like 210, 215, 225. Mm. Um, but 200 for a low 12, that's just ridiculous. Nobody's going to buy that. Um, yeah, they will. I Yeah, you're right. The, 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 the desperate will. The desperate definitely will. Um, but if you have royalty 12s, if you have taxi 12s, yeah. if you have Chinese New Year 12s from a few years ago, you don't have to have these because it's basically the same colorway. Um, and with me, I have the royalty 12s, which a lot of people call those poor man taxis, which I get it. If you don't have taxis, <laughs> then you got the royalty 12s. But it is what it is. And for $200, I paid... Ten dollars less for my royalty twelves than I would for these twenty five years in China. Um, I like, are, but I do like the I do like the mud guard though. Like they should the do mud that. guard they, is the mud should, guard is the highlight of this. The snake. only sell the only sell for this shoe. And um, they should do that to the highs. These I mean are, that this is stupid. It's a dope touch. Um, and I think if these wound up at the outlet for a discounted price, oh, I would consider them. So that's why they're asleep oh, for cheap. Oh, okay. okay. So, okay. Uh, Paul, we'll throw it over to you. I, again, this is a trash silhouette. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a cop. I would, I wouldn't even see the value in these to flip them. Like, th like this is, this is a waste of, this is a waste of money. Okay, okay. So to give y'all what the people said about these. Um, real quick here. Um, zero percent of people said gotta have them. Wow, uh, absolutely. Y'all have, have a very intelligent following. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> yep, trash. Get get them out of here. Those are terrible. Twenty four percent of people said flip them. Fifty three percent of people said trash, and twenty four percent of people said sleep for cheap. So and this is why you shouldn't need a super majority. You should just need a regular majority because we get those sneakers the fuck out of here. <laughs> so that is a, a a very easy pass for a lot of people there on that sneaker. Um, so to give y'all the next sneaker on the list, uh, this one is dropping on 8-5. It is a Jordan 1 KO, which is, stands for knockoff. Uh, oops, oh. nope, hit the wrong button. Why would you do that? Uh, Jordan <laughs> 1 knockoff. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh the Syracuse version. Uh it mm -hmm. is $150. Um, so if you know what the Jordan 1 KOs look like, they are an all canvas upper for the most part, outside of the swoosh and the ankle uh strap where the wings logo is at. Um, that is going to be leather on this silhouette. Um, you have a uh white mid panel and around the heel of the sneaker. And a white pull tab there as well. That's all in canvas. Um, around like the ankle collar, you also have white canvas there. Uh, you have white canvas in the toe and the sock, or not the sock, the, the tongue, excuse me. Um, you also have orange throughout the rest of the upper. So the toe box, around the eyelets, uh, around the ankle, 
uh, where the ankle strap is at and where the wings logo is at. Uh, the wings logo is actually white. Um, as I said, orange uh, leather swoosh. And then you have, um, what is it, Vandal? You basically have the Vandal outsole mm. uh, for this sneaker, uh, which is going to be orange. And you have white midsole. Um, and then you have the Nike um, tongue tag which is going to be white with an orange background. Um yeah, uh canvas sneakers just really aren't my aren't my vibe. Um just because I feel like they get dingy and dirty really easily. Um so I mean they are very wearable because they don't crease as easy, but as far as dinginess, they get dingy really quick. Um so these are going to be a trash sneaker for me. Um Especially at one hundred and fifty dollars, um, trash. Uh, Blaze, what's your thoughts? This is a trash sneaker for me. I didn't know KO, KO meant for knockoff. Goodness yes. gracious, you, you blew my mind. I mean, like, uh, what is this? The substitution effect on this? I mean, like, I don't know the ones. Um, yeah, these are knockoffs for me. Um, knockoffs. These are trash for me because they're knockoffs. And so, uh, I love the color, but Jordan ones. They could give us something better than this, so uh, trash for me, Paul. What's your thoughts on this? <laughs> calling them, calling them knockoffs, <laughs> like like Nike calling them knockoffs is is like, here, bitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> Take it. This what you get. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna trash it, but uh, but I will say that I do like the sock liner contrast. Mm. But okay. other than that. Let me get that shit out of here. Okay. Uh, and to give you all what the people said about these, uh, 20% of people said gotta have them. 5% oh of people wow. said uh, flip them. 45% of people said trash. And 30% of people said sleep for cheap on those. So, yeah, a lot more people. I, I, if I was uh, like you said on the last joints, if I if I saw them in in the outlet store for like seventy or something, I, I'd consider it. That's fair. I mean, at a low low price, maybe you consider it, but at retail price, no way, no how. Mm -hmm. Um, last sneaker on the list, we're gonna throw over to Blaze, uh, because I think this was probably your pick of the week. Am I am I wrong there? Yeah, these are right? my these are my pick of the week. Um, so we're gonna go with the Jordan Five Concours. They come out um on August sixth, and these will be worth two two hundred shekels plus tax. And so, um, <laughs> let's get it. Let let's get into it. I'll get into it with the tongue. Um, which is probably the best part of the sneaker for me personally. So the tongue of this Jordan Five, um, is gray purple um and so i believe the um the tongue is reflective um around it and so it's basically like an ordinary five with it and so basically the sneaker is made of it looks like all white um new buck um with that i hope i hope i'm saying that right with the new buck around basically the white of the sneaker overall and so um the Fishnets are um, white as well. They look like they'll get real. They like they'll get dirty real quick, <laughs> and uh, and so you have that around the the shoe overall. Um, from either where with the white with the toe box to the midsole is all white. And so um, as you go down um, below, you have um, the black with the purple shark teeth, which um, basically gives the imprint or just the definition of a Jordan five. And so you have that, the black around it. And so um, the outsole is an icy bottom. And so Paul will probably be real um, it not interested in that because it will, it will get, it will no, get like, bad real quick at the I like bottom. icy bottom though. Okay. Icy bottom. Okay. My bad. My bad. And that's, uh, that, that, no, that, that, that's still a non-white sole. <laughs> that's true. That's true. The um, outliner or the sock liner, not the outliner, the sock liner of it is purple and it gives the Air Jordan on the back of it. And so um, um, the back of it gives also the old fashioned Jumpman logo around it. And so um, overall, 
ordinary Jordan 5 Concord for me. Um, me personally, I got to have these. I like these a lot. Um, I like the, I like just a simple colorway of them. And so um, I'm, I'm not paying resale for these. So I'm either going to get these for retail or I'm not going to get these at all. And so um, with the Jordans that are coming down the line, I'm going to pick my poison with these. And so overall, I like Jordan 5s. And so I'm going to see if I can shoot my shot with these. And so I got to have them. So Marco, what's your thoughts on these? Uh, For me, they are trash, actually. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically a fire red five with purple substituted for the red. Um, mm-hmm. And fives for me aren't my favorite silhouette just because they hurt my, my heels. I get blisters every time mm-hmm. I wear fives, except for like the premium fives, like I have the the Oregon five, uh, University Oregon fives, which don't blister my heels because they're more of a premium product. Um, but any other fives that I've worn in the past, they end up blistering my heels, and then I just I regret having them after that. I'm like, why did I buy these? I know that they hurt my feet. Why did I buy these? Um, so this would just be another one that would be adding to that collection. Because I know you said it looks like new buck, but I think it's actually that stiff, like synthetic leather that's on huh. here for the upper. Because gotcha. like I said, I think these are basically fire red fives fire substituting fives. the the red for purple. Gotcha. Um and I, I I understand you guys getting them because you guys are both former K State um, you know, attendees. So Mm-hmm. both of y'all being k-state people i understand your connection to these usually as a laker lover i would get something that has purple in it but for these it's just it's just nothing i gotta have so yeah they're, they're gonna be trash for me let me quit rambling here um <laughs> paul i'll throw it over to you that's purple to y'all that's purple that's not what- pur- what color is that to you? What man? color is that? It's like a, it's like a, oh fuck, what blue is that? It's, nah. it's not a, it's not a, that's blue. definitely not a blue. That's definitely not a what? blue. That's not, <laughs> no, no, nah, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, nah, we're gonna have to send this to me <laughs> on my phone or something because that's, that's not, pur- if it was purple, I would be like, woohoo, like look at this. Nah, man, I, mm-mm. that's, that's a, that's a, it's a blue. Yeah, no. You got what sneakers app on your phone? You got sneakers app on your phone? You got on your phone? I, I, I do. If you These got sneakers app on your phone, it should be on the sneakers app. Oh, okay. hold on. You just give, me, give, me, give me a second because I, I don't know. Like a mofo. Oh my God, an update's required. I hate this because I, I don't even, I do not <laughs> be using this. No, I'm, I'm going to get them from a resale. I, I, do, I do not have time for fucking with the sneakers. Go to but, Stock but, Go to but, Stock X. Oh my god. Yeah, just look, look up the the, X. Look up it, the Jordan it, 5 Dark Concord oh, and you'll find them. Yeah, or just Concord period. Yeah. Oh no, cuz that it doesn't look purple to me. Well, right. anything if Concord. Purple, I mean, anything Concord related is purple. Because they're talking about Concord jelly. Is yep. that really? Yes. yes. I learned yeah. a thing today. Wow. Uh Sorry. It's taking yep. Yeah, uh, just a second. Dark Concord? Yep. Concord jelly. That's still not purple to me. You it are is, crazy. No, this is it not is purple. purple. That's purple. Fam. What? <laughs> nah, y'all are wildin'. That's not purple. That is uh-huh. purple. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't purple wait till this day, episode man. comes out so somebody else will be like, nah, he's not tripping. That shit's not purple. No, no, this ain't that. This ain't that dress debate. No. These is purple. No, that's not that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That is hacker purple. Okay, okay. So just to just to keep moving forward, any who's um, that tongue is tight. Uh, that tongue is super dope, and I do like that. Okay, of course, like non white soles, but like one, I don't necessarily like the fives. It just in general, and also. Other than the tongue and the sole and midsole, this shoe is boring as fuck. Mm-hmm. So now I right, leave it alone. All right. Okay. So uh, That's not to perfect. give y'all to give y'all what the people said about those, uh, forty-two percent of people said gotta have them. 
Eleven uh, percent of people said flip them. Eleven percent of people said trash, and thirty-seven percent of people said sleep for cheap. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's a it's a lot. That's of a mixed people. bag on that one. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are one end of the fence or the other on those. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw it back over to Blaze for uh his his wonderful segment here. Oh, cool. Let's get into it. Blaze's Holy Grail. Um, 45 through 41. Um, yeah, we are mowing through these. And so um these are getting tight at the end. And so we're gonna get through it. Um, number 45. Um let's go to the Oreos. Let's go to the Jordan. I have it on my Four. sneakers app. It's purple. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The Jordan the uh, Jordan 4 Oreos. Um, I I love the sneaker. I had the sneaker. I sold the sneaker. Um, I like it a lot. And so I, I want it back. I hope Jordan retros these again. Um, number 44, the Jordan 12 Gammas. Um, very nice. I like the suede around the 12. Um, of these gammas with that with that blue, it gives that Tiffany blue that I really really enjoy. And so overall, that twelve is very very lovely. Um, number forty three, the Jordan 11, 72 and tens. Um, I put these here, just random spot for the elevens. They don't they don't get too far in that list. And so they came out about three or four years ago. They came out with the lows. Um, they came out with the restock recently. And so. Um, I need to get these mids. I have got the lows and I want the mids as well. And so um, Jordan 11, 72 and 10s. I like these a lot. The Jordan 14 Ferraris. I, uh, for people that don't like the 14s, this is probably the best one um, going with the last shot. And uh, these Jordan, Jordan 14 Ferraris, these are dope. From the red to the yellow to the black, Everything around them. Um, this is about as close as a Ferrari that I'm gonna get, so I can't wait to draw <laughs> these out. <laughs> and so, first of, for, first of all, my big ass can't fit into that, and I didn't win the Powerball the other day, so I'm not gonna get me no Ferrari anytime soon. So, uh, these Jordan Ferraris are dope, and um, I hope to get these into my collection sooner than later. And um, last but not least, number 41 is um, we talked about these with the Concords, the Jordan Five Fire Reds. Um, OG, lovely, lovely sneaker. And so um, OG, I like them a lot. And so you had to put these down at the list at the bottom. And so number 45, Jordan 4 Oreos, 44, Jordan 12 Gammas, 43, Jordan 11, 72 and 10s. Um, number 42, um, Jordan 14 Ferraris. And uh, number 41, Jordan five fire reds. And so that is my Holy grail list from 45 to 41. And so uh, I'll just throw it to Marco. Marco, what, uh, what's your thoughts on these lists? What's your favorite out of them? I could, I, I'd probably know what it is. Oh, Paul, should I go to you first or you good? I got, I got to get back to these dark concords. Oh God, there he go. Oh, because <laughs> now I'm looking at go the ahead. sneakers app and I'm like, all right, look, like Marco was right. On some K State shit, I could put these in the closet and then like break them out at a game. Like, ah, I damn it, because that yeah. the, the the color I saw earlier, I was like, no, absolutely not. But it's absolutely purple, and that is not a white soul. And ah, mm, man, gotta have them. I don't have to have them. I don't have to have them. But damn. <laughs> I've been shaken to my core. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, if I'm going to say anything, those those gammas, good Lord. That yes. was that was a hell of a sneaker. Yes. Love it. No, Marco, so, let me shut up. <laughs> no, um, 72 and 10s are dope. Um, I wish I had gotten the highest back when they came out. Um, I passed on them because I already had bread 11s at the time, or maybe I didn't mm. have bread 11s yet, but I was like, I'd rather have the breads, whatever, the actual breads, um, mm. because that's what they were. They were basically a play on the breads to me. Um, Ferrari 14s are fire. Um, they don't age well, I will say that. Um, mm. Anybody that has Ferrari 14s has probably had to do a re-dye, or they just trashed them. Um, 
the um yellow ferraris are magnificent i have the yellow ferraris uh black ferraris are magnificent the black ferraris they actually did something different by putting like the interior of the car on the on the uh medial side of the sneaker so the black ferraris even though then they tried to change it later on they're like oh these aren't actually ferraris i'm like no you already dubbed them the black ferraris just leave them that um you know, uh, fives already already had my spill on the fives. Mm-hmm. Don't really have to have those. Um, gamma gamma has really never been a colorway of mine that I, that I've that I've really been particularly after. I don't know what it is about it. I I don't know. Maybe I look at gamma as like the off brand UNC color. I don't know. And for some reason, when I look at gammas, I'm like, just give me the UNC color. If you're going to give mm. me a gamma. So I never have looked at gammas the same way that some other people look at gammas. Like they would hit so hard with these jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> and I get that because you, you have like the South beach colorway going on there. So that makes sense. Um, but for me with gammas, I always look at that as like, just give me a UNC colorway. I rather have a UNC colorway versus a gamma colorway. And Carolina, um, per- uh, Carolina blue. And uh, Oreo fours just aren't my favorite either. So you know the the seventy two and tens and the Ferraris are my favorites out of this list. Okay, Ferraris and Gam is easy. Okay, okay, it's good. Well, yeah, that um that that concludes my list right there. Um, Holy Grail forty five through forty one. We're getting we're getting through it. So yeah, I like it. Where'd you guys start at? A hundred. A hundred. So I had a hundred of my Jordans that I would have on the Holy Grail. And so we're just going, we're going through it five, five each. And so um, I would like to get a poster of all these at the end of it. So a hundred to one. And so that's what I would, that's what I would keep in a storage compartment. Cause I couldn't keep these anywhere where my wife would go crazy. <laughs> I get these Holy Grails of all hundred of them, which I plan on to. So I mean, <laughs> Shout we out all got that. dreams. We all yeah. got dreams. Yeah. Ambitions. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely have them all saved there for you, breath. So, absolutely. Whenever we get you. to that point, uh, I got you. Absolutely. Um, y'all, y'all posting those to IG every week? Uh, no, we actually have not posted. Those. I thought y'all should have been doing that. Y'all should have been doing um, that. Really? If people want to keep up with it, they need to tune into our YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Shot <Sure>. fired. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if you're not watching our visual, then uh, yeah, use your imagination. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, so not to steal your thunder here, Blaze, but we're gonna jump into um our final segment of the show okay. here before we before we roll it out. Okay. Um, so Yeezy Day is happening, uh, eight one and eight two. Um, so we're just gonna do a little rap and fire of all the releases that are dropping on Yeezy day, uh, which I don't know why they just call it Yeezy days versus Yeezy day. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's supposed to be a con- Amazon second Prime day is like three days. Yeah. I mean, why you call it a day when it's multiple days, but anyway, um, I guess it's supposed to be 24 hours or something like that. So that's why they're saying that. But um, anyway, uh, we'll just, we're going to use sneaker news here for this um, as far as our source. So if any dates are off, blame them. Don't blame us. Um, mm-hmm. So these are all the releases that are happening on Yeezy Day. Um, y'all can Lord. read them right there. Good Lord. Um, but we're going to just scroll through the releases. Uh, you got the original Turtle Doves, uh, 350 thir- Turtle Doves. Excuse me. God, I can't talk. Uh, 350 turtle doves uh which are grails to a lot of people i never was fond mm. of these i mean i don't know how you guys feel about them but white soul if <laughs> 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 uh so you know nothing that i gotta have i get it it's a it's a grail to a lot of people um you also have the solar red 350s the v2s uh coming you got the Oreos. Um, 
You got the naturals or the the breads, I think is what a lot of people refer to these as. I think mm -hmm. I could be wrong. You know, I'm not well versed in Yeezys. I just now started liking them. So y'all can call me a hype beast, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I, I'm I'm late to the late to the party on those. Uh, the naturals. You got the Flax 350 V2s, um, the Light 350 V2s. See, this is this is the problem with a lot of 350 V2s. They look too much alike. Like this and this looks too much alike. And at least in my opinion, I don't know. Okay. And then so the first, the very first joint that you the whatever the very first one was. When I was the like, Turtle oh, Doves. Yes. Yeah. This the only one out of these that I fucks with, like that that I that I mess with and like I I haven't messed with a Yeezy sneaker since the Red Octobers. Oh wow! Like so when, Nike, when he moved over, the yeah, Nike he, it did just the Red Octobers. That's it. Okay, okay. So you also got Yeezy Boost three fifty V two Earths. You got the zebras, which are a lot of people's favorite. Um, a lot of people love the zebras. That's amazing. <laughs> you got yeah, okay, and so I'm with you on that. That they look too much alike. Yeah, the blue tints and the zebras. Like, where's I the mean, difference in those shoes? You you got yeah. a little hint of of blue on on the oh, blue tints the versus liner. the zebras. Oh, yeah, okay. and in the and in the. the uh, the midsole and the outsole there. It's like a, a tint of, of blue. But outside of that, they almost look the same. Yeah, um, that looks like the other two you just showed. <laughs> hyperspace. You got the Sesame, which I looks need like to be able to walk into from a above. design studio and not try. <laughs> the Ash Blues, which I do kind of like these. They kind of remind me of like a denim look. I don't know what it is about they them. Cool. I guess... They're kind of cool. I, I kind of like these. Um, Sand taupe. I think it's just because he had too many earth tones, man. It, That's it what it is. Them. That is what it is. And the next one's literally called Desert Sage. <laughs> Desert Sage. Earth tones. Uh, <laughs> mono cider. <laughs> or cinder. Excuse me. Nope. Cinder. Send it back Mono, to Cinder. Mono chill. clays. Clay. Earth tone. Mm -hmm. Mono mist. mist. Of the earth. Okay, that that I like that. I like that. I like the upper. This one, the mono ice. I like I like the uh, yeah, I like the upper. But oh, dang. it's still again, uh, God, leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh god. Okay. What are we doing so, with those? So, so here's a change in silhouettes. You got the Adidas Yeezy 450 oh. Utility Blacks. These are like the uh the the predator uh or no, actually not even predator. I get I take that back. Think of Beetlejuice with those uh those statues that the mom or the stepmom had and that one that looked like a claw that's what it looks like on the bottom of this soul but the black ranger has a pair of these and he said that they're comfortable he yeah they're comfortable. Um, what are we doing with those he he got his pair for the low low though so utility black for wait what's the low low on those uh i think he got them for like uh, one around one fifty or something like that. They was under two hundred. Okay. Let's put okay. it that way. Okay. Okay. Um, super moon. Uh, yellow five hundreds. I don't like five hundreds. I think they're ugly. Um, vermilion five or no, that's not right. Nope. That's not. That's not the vermilion foam runner. That's a. <laughs> that is a five hundred. I don't know why the description is wrong there. Uh, you got the Wave Runners, which is a lot of people's personal not fave. Bad. It's not bad. It is the classic dad shoe that a lot of people want, so that's a grail for a lot of people. Uh, seven hundred analog, mm. hideous, hideous. <laughs> uh, high res blue. We talked about these in gifts. I, I hate that I fuck with that. <laughs> high res. <laughs> 700s these these are fire yeah. man and if, if they're <laughs> I if hate they're it. that I hate if it. they're that deep of a blue oh yep. my god yeah oh my yeah. god 
Yeah, absolutely. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seven hundred V two Vanta hideous. Uh, basically all black sneaker. This all this is sneaker. a this is a Grandpa Robin season sneaker right there. Mm-hmm. Is what that is. Oof. <laughs> Uh, you got the the Tepfra, uh, nope. seven hundred V two hideous. All seven hundred V twos are hideous. Oh, hideous. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Hideous. Uh, hospital blue, which basically look like a yep. cool gray Yeezy Boost seven hundred V two hideous. Nurse shoe. What kind of? <laughs> I've been in therapy. Shit was that. <laughs> hospital blue. My hospital God. blue, baby. <laughs> Uh, I'm static. inspired by my therapy sessions. <laughs> Yeezy Boost 700 V2 static. Nope. Terrible. Nope. Uh, Ye- Yeezy 700 V3 fade carbon. Once People again. love them. Can't do it. Yes, they do. They're, but they they're do. terrible. They are yes. terrible. Oh, yes. Man, I my head hurts. The only thing that's nice terrible. about these is the, uh, the color gradient on them. I do like the color gradient, but the, 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 cop, the copper the coppers are way better than this fade carpet. The That's coppers are way nice. better than those. Uh the Azeal um 700 V3s. Jeez. Terrible. Um, then we get into the Yeezy slides that are people are people are paying way too much money for these. Way, way too, too much, much money. How much are they? Like I think they retail for like they 80 go- bucks or yep. something like that. But people are reselling them for like two hundred. It's yep. insane. It, no, yep. it is insane. Oh my god! What culture uh, have I dived into? <laughs> <laughs> I they can't do insane. it. It is insane <laughs> that people are paying that much for slides. The orange <laughs> ones are going for three hundred plus. Jesus, these these can't are glow. So these are basically the the vault colorway of yep. the Yeezy slides. Um, they'll be dropping the yep. Pierce, Pierce, which are um basically like the tan cream type color or sale color, as Jordan brand would call it. Mm-hmm. Um, you got oh. some foam runners. You got the sand foam runners. <laughs> Just give me bad memories with these foam <laughs> runners. The, the <laughs> predator put the... these on and gave a bucket. <laughs> they hoop it I in. I love them. this kid. I love They're hooping this kid. in. This is, that kid is my favorite hooper ever. Oh, Shout hooping. out to Kenny. Like, yeah, oh my man. god. <laughs> you got the Onyx foam runners. Oh, <laughs> take some video. I mean, which shit. Ones Look he, at, which, which ones did those. he have? Which uh, ones did he? Have? I'm, I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text you. It ain't, it ain't any of these on here. What you is, got, what is these about? What are we doing? The MX, here? MX Moon Grays, Moon Gray. which look doing? like. So basically, if you take like a, a um, I would have found the shit out that nigga. <laughs> like, like take a tie dye uh, type colorway. <laughs> no, not a, not at all. Like I would not have let that man embarrass me like that. He would have got a hard foul, and I probably yeah. would have got thrown out the game. No, I don't. Yeah, but, no, uh, no, this is flagrant. I'm tackling them, this thing. Those right there. Stop it. People the like MX them. Carbon. They, people I like think those. these these are a new colorway right here. Yes, I think these are people like those. <laughs> if I'm gonna buy them silly ass shoes, I'm getting that colorway. <laughs> right here, the MX Carbons. Yeah, if, like, like, if, I, if I'm into this, if I'm into this alien looking ass, yep, they they kind of give me Laker color. They they kind of give me yeah. Laker colorway vibes though, man, because you got this yeah. this this light yeah. uh, violet color. You got like that light sail type cream color. You got the yellow in so there. Like, you got the so black. Like you take the uh, you take the Kobe moon boots, and then like you throw oh. them, like forty years into a dystopian oh. future, and then you got these. Yeah. dystopian he's, future. He's, yep, it's not wrong. Uh, this is the the tag that we should have had earlier, the Yeezy Foam Runner Vermillions, which was on a Yeezy Five Hundred earlier, but uh, uh, Yeezy Foam Runner Vermillions, which is basically. The all red foam runner, which a lot of people like. Um, Not the shit if, out that if, nigga. If, if yeah. you like foam runners, these no uh, foams right then, here. And yeah. the last, the last one that we have on the list is the Adidas no. Yeezy Knit Runner, uh, the Fade Azure, which basically looks like a sock and just like 
uh, a faded colorway blob of oh like God. blue, green, yellow, and they're just not very good. They look like house shoes, <laughs> I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say about those. But yeah, Slides. that's, that's going to end Yeezy Day right there. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, I would have found the shit out that thing. Yeah. And and <laughs> like we said um earlier, I think I don't know if we said this off camera or on camera, but uh Nike is actually Sorry. trying to combat Yeezy Day as well. So uh mm. you do have Jordan Brand doing some restocks on August 2nd as well. Oof. We don't know what Jordans are gonna be restocking, but it's gonna be a major restock on Nike app on August 2nd as well. So if you're not going after Yeezys, you do have some chances for some Jays if you missed out on some. There's been a lot of Jays that a lot of people have passed on, though, here recently. So mm-hmm. we'll we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but, Blaze, we're going to throw it over to you to close out the show, sir. Yeah, yeah, we're going to close it out. That is, that's the final session of of everything went on. Um, <laughs> quality quality show um, ended it off. And so um, – we're gonna we're gonna end with our tags, and so um, we're gonna go. You know what? Let's go to our guest first. So, uh, Paul, um, what do you want to say? What you need say? What you need to say? All the deals, what you want to endorse, and what you want to say, and um, we'll start off with you with that. So, uh, give uh, shout outs. You can uh, well shout out to y'all. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that. Um, just wanna well shout out my bandmate Ryan and Tom's RLT. Um, you can follow the band on Instagram at Face Face Jams. Um, all my socials are just at my full name, Paul Nakatura, N Y A K A T U R A. And shout out to all the sneakerheads worldwide, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Marco, we gonna roll with you? Uh yeah, y'all can find me on uh IG at MB the Remix on IG. You can find me on Twitter at D A M B Two Experience. That is pronounced the MB Two Experience for everybody that's trying to say that. Um, you can also find Kick City at Kick underscore City nine one three on IG. You can find us on Facebook at the Kick City Podcast on Facebook. Um, and yeah, that's where you can find me. Blaze, we'll throw it back over to you. Yeah, I'll just end it off with that. First of all, shout out to our guest, Paul. Um, Paul oh. Tour jumping on. What's up? You can, you can listen to me um, middays, uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on KCUR 89.3. Learn a thing or two. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate Paul jumping on with the podcast with us and uh, giving us giving us his thoughts and stories. Um, very lovely. Um, look, I love to have stories with, with friends on here because that's what it's about at the end of the day. And um, so you can follow me on Instagram at Lucky Let Me 31 and then follow us Kick City on the Twitter at City underscore Kick and um Appreciate y'all stopping by. Appreciate Paul um, guessing guessing with us. Hell of a time. Love it. Um, and sorry every- to Marco for um, all the things that he's going to have to edit out because I had to use three different microphones today. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, episode 72, we are gone. <laughs>